Is there such thing as too much cooling in your PC? Welcome to episode five of PC Build Bootcamp where I teach you how to build your first PC. And today we're installing the fans. This case came with some pre-installed, I think those are 140 millimeter fans. I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me on that. Um, but they are not like the IQ fans from Corsair. And I just really like the IQ system. I know that's a hot take, but I like the IQ system. So I need to take out these non-IQ fans, put in a bunch of IQ fans and get them all coordinated. What I like about the Corsair IQ system is that you get to connect all of your fans together and have them connected to one central hub. So you don't have a bunch of wires everywhere and you can sync all of your RGB. You definitely don't need to fill your case to the brim with fans. I just like the look. Something that's very important to note is the orientation of your fans. There's intake and there's exhaust. You want your intake fans to be the front and the bottom of the case and you want your exhaust to be at the rear and the top. This follows the whole hot air rises principle, which will help Help keep your case cool. Now you take off his onion. Typically on a PC case fan, the side that's like kind of uglier and has like more plastic on it is the exhaust side. And then the pretty side is the intake. So since air comes out the uglier side, if you want intake, you're gonna have the uglier side facing in. But this does not apply to reverse fans. And look at that, now you know how to install fans. Come back for episode six, which is my least favorite part, getting the PSU situation figured out. See you there.